So this is actually what the console of an ESXi host looks like. And by console, I mean if we were on the keyboard, mouse, and monitor that was directly hooked up to the server. And there's really not a whole lot to it. There's no graphical user interface like we might be used to with a Windows or Linux operating system. Basically, we can just do some initial configuration. There's also an ESXi shell we can get to and run some commands. But really, that's about it. So almost all of the configuration we're going to do with this ESXi host, we're going to do through the vSphere client. But real quick, let's take a look. I'll go ahead and press F2 so we can log in and see some of the initial configuration that we can do. Normally we'll only do this right after installation of the ESXi host and probably never go back to it unless we're having a specific problem. So here we can see we can configure the password for the user we're logged in as and I'm logged in as root so if I wanted to change it I could do it here. We can configure lockdown mode and lockdown mode we'll talk about in a more advanced training like vSphere 5 new features training or vSphere administration training. We can configure the management network, restart the management network, test management network, restore network settings, configure keyboard. There's some troubleshooting options where we can configure whether or not we can log on to the ESXi shell to run a few commands specific to vSphere. We can view system logs, support information, or reset the system configuration. But really, that's about it. There, there isn't a whole lot to it. So again, the vSphere client is what we're going to use to really do our configuration changes to this ESXi host.